I'm Francesco Arcidiacono. As Bigne have said, uh, we are a very uh, heterogeneous panel, uh, but this is for me a source of uh, inspiration. In fact, I will do some exercise that is quite uh, strange or let's say uh, different from what I'm doing uh, normally because uh, I'm educational psychologist working at University of Teacher Education and usually I attend conferences in which we are we belong to the same background, so we zoom in very specific uh, topics. And I take this occasion, uh, as we are uh, coming from different fields, to zoom out and to make a kind of reflection also on what we are doing. So my presentation maybe should seem quite different or uh, exotic, but it is uh, a journey, and I would like to take you uh, with me in this journey. So just to precise uh, um, the institution in which I'm working uh, is an institution that is devoted to train future teachers at different levels. So we have bachelor and master programs for primary, secondary, and special needs education teachers. But we offer also uh, lifelong learning for in-service teachers. So, uh, finally, we accompany teachers during their career. And uh, another specific uh, uh, aspect of my institution is that we are, uh, uh, you know, in Switzerland, uh, we have uh, 26 cantons, and we are covering three of them, Bern for the French-speaking part, Jura and Neuchâtel, so the name of our institution, Bejun, uh, is related to this uh, three cantonal uh, um, unity. And this is also quite interesting because we are at the border between uh, uh, French-speaking part of Switzerland and German-speaking part of Switzerland. And within our institution, there are different cultures also, according to this. So from my pers educational perspective, this is also uh, very, very interesting. So as I said, uh, uh, my idea is to talk about this singular experience, singular not because it's special. There is nothing special, but it's specific. But uh, however, although it is specific, uh, there are many points that represent the actual reality of uh, universities of teacher education uh, in our country, in Switzerland. And uh, uh, we were, uh, um, with colleagues, uh, we were uh, thinking about, uh, you know, because the title is Impact of Research, okay? As you said, and as the previous speaker uh, during the plenary session said, it's difficult to say, uh, to measure impacts or to, to understand whether we are really doing some impacts. But for us, the fact to reflect about uh, this experience uh, should be also some kind of a way to have an impact on our organization and then to promote change for future education. So the first uh, point is that we recognize um, a very a big uh, gap between uh, the community of researchers and the community of teachers. Two separate worlds where there are a lot of researchers, they are working on education, they are saying teachers have, must do, teachers uh, have to have this skill, this competence, and so on. But teachers are somehow the object of this. They are often, uh, uh, um, let's say, taken into account as participants, but not as main uh, builder of a research. So we were thinking about it because if we would like to train the future teachers to be reflective teachers, probably they have to be taken into account in this journey about research. And then the second point was concerning, okay, if really we would like to implement this aspect, what we are offering now and what we could offer. So this idea to empower their professional capacities through research activities through participating in research and not just to, let's say, uh, just uh, be uh, exposed to research and to understand what is research in theory. So this uh, uh, combination of research and theory was uh, one of the preoccupation. And the third point was also related to the environment in which we are uh, acting. Because of course I can uh, train a teacher, a future teacher, and he or she could be really convinced about uh, the prominence and the relevance of research, but then if in the school, the principal, the other colleagues are not sharing this, probably uh, this impact of research will decrease. So we were thinking about these three points, 
and in this uh, reflection I prepared for this very short talk, I will focus on how we change our organization at three different levels, institutional, pedagogical, and scientific. So the first level, as I said, is the institutional one. As institution training future teachers, we have also to guarantee that we are taking into account not only the content that the teacher should uh, teach, this is okay, uh, well done by different faculties. Our, uh, our students are students that uh, already had MA, uh, master degree in uh, physics or biology or uh, French uh, and so on. Some of them, let's say a big part of them uh, are also PhD, so they know, uh, they, they have a good knowledge of the content of what they have to teach. But what you have to do is to work with them about pedagogy to teach. So to combine and to, to, to make uh, for them clear the interrelation between uh, teaching and learning. And what we have done is uh, a process that was not linear. Uh, I tried to avoid some linear representation, but even this circle was not so easy. There were different steps in which we were going back, uh, trying to understand, uh, uh, to define again, in which we, we, we were starting from our local community, instead to start from, from some general uh, understanding. So with them, we were trying to understand how we can modify our institution, how we can rebuild an institution that should be at the service of the community, of the teacher community, of the school community, including as much as uh, possible the, all the actors in them. And so we were uh, working with them then to test some hypotheses, to go back, to redefine, to try to evaluate. And one of the outcome of this is uh, uh, what I uh, say that the, um, at, the, at the bottom, uh, we create a new role in our institution at university that is the role of teacher researchers. So we have now teachers that are working in schools, but they are also working at university, not just because they are very passionate and in their free time, but they are enrolled at university. So part of their work as teacher is to work at the university and to work with, let's say, regular researchers to implement projects and to contribute. So we try to shift from this uh, a uh, position of a teacher right, like passive and uh, only the subject, the participant of the research to some conceptor of the research with the researcher. And the same with students, we try to involve them by giving a, a, a big part of the curriculum devoted to their activity in research. The second point was at the pedagogical level. Uh, because of course, if we would like to change the structure of our, of our uh, institution, we have to think also about the consequences. We cannot say, okay, it should be nice to have uh, teachers, researchers, uh, to teach research, if we don't change also our way to, uh, to teach them. Uh, so in that sense, we were uh, uh, concerning about uh, two uh, main points. Uh, one is uh, the uh, contextual nature of uh, teaching research or doing research with them. So in our, uh, in our um, way of presenting research, we don't want to convince them that their future is to become researchers. This is not at all the goal. The goal is to work with them in order to make them reflexive teachers that are capable to act in their environment, in their situation, in their context, to evaluate how learning is tied to its context, so how then they can transfer knowledge from a context to another. And the other point was to work on a, a new concept of evaluation, to take them in this uh, idea that we need uh, to define uh, and measure what is uh, meaningful for them and for the students. Because uh, if we enroll them in this process that is new for them as for us, we have also to think how to assess it in a very formative way. So our previous model was not corresponding to the new reality. 
So in that sense, uh, all the type of relations at the pedagogical level, content level, but also learning level, were changing. And now we are uh, very happy to work with them in order to establish this. And then, uh, uh, of course, there was a change also for us as, uh, let's say, normal researchers or regular, sorry, not normal, regular researchers, uh, I will conclude, um, to uh, identify new topics that uh, should be interesting and informative for us to continue in this journey, but also to improve this interest for research in education from the perspective of future teachers. And of course, uh, uh, in order to do this, we were uh, identifying uh, different topics that could belong to ways of thinking, of working, uh, different uh, tools that are available or not in the school. But uh, uh, main points concern dig digitalization in education. This has been uh, uh, one of the key topics uh, in, uh, in different um, talks. But also creativity, socio-materiality. So not only to produce tools, innovative tools, but uh, to work with teachers on how to use, which is the frame, because I can create no matter uh, how many apps or uh, environment, but I have to work with them uh, to create the frame in which this is uh, exactly what they want and they understand how to use. And to conclude, let's go back uh, to some topics uh, about uh, this conference. The first one is this idea to shift from the subject perspective to the student perspective, in our case, teacher's perspective, so uh, to create uh, skills for uh, critical thinking, but also to understand that we are moving towards a new paradigm that is uh, uh, emphasizing the contextual, local uh, activities, and then starting from the re local reality, trying through collaboration, through the sharing, uh, to understand uh, uh, situation uh, uh, that are more, uh, more uh, general. Uh, personally, um, in our institution, we have learned that this is very long process, that we need time, that is not something we can uh, change uh, in uh, some years, uh, but we are very optimistic because we think that there is always room for improvement and I think that we need also to be open to other uh, disciplines and other sectors because this is, uh, in our view, the future of education.